Well, hello and welcome to another video of Cooking with GK. Today, I'm going to be cooking chicken and sausage jambalaya. The ingredients we're going to use today, we're going to of course start with the star of the show. We got some chicken breast, got some beef smoked sausage, and some smoked sausage. Now you can use andouille sausage or whatever sausage you like in your jambalaya, but today this is what I'm using. Got some chicken broth, about four cups, some tomato paste, some diced tomatoes. We got onion and celery already cut up, but see I like to make it easy and simple without, you know, I just buy it already cut up. And we got some bell peppers cut up. And of course, we got the long grain rice. And olive oil is all you're gonna need. What I've done, I've already cut up my sausage and my chicken. I just season my chicken with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a slight touch, you know, so you can get your meats browning. Now this is pre-cooked sausage, so you don't have to cook this a long time. I mean, with other sauces that you may use, you need to cook it a little longer. If you use an andouille sausage or a pork sausage or something like that, you may need to cook it a little bit longer. All right, <clears throat> you're gonna need to do about well, maybe a couple teaspoons of olive oil. Get your pan hot so you can cook your meat first. That's about right. And you're gonna get your temp up your pan up to about a medium high heat. Nothing too big. Like I said, I'm, the sauces I'm using is going to be pre-cooked already, but when I add the chicken breast, it's going to require more cooking. I'm going to start cooking the sauces first. Again, like I said, this is pre-cooked sauces. You want to get as, all of them as flat as possible, so you want to get a nice, even cook for your sausage before you add your chicken. Again, for my video, since you know I had to fully cook, pre-cook beef sausage, you can see it's browning up a real, a little, real good. You can just go ahead and add your chicken breast because you definitely don't want to overcook your sausage. So I'm going to add my chicken breast in with my sausage. Now this chicken breast you can use again. You can use chicken thigh, whatever meat you chicken you want to use. Again, you can use shrimp. Seafood, whatever you want to jambalaya you want to cook. Again, today is chicken and sausage jambalaya. Now, this chicken breast is going to take about maybe seven to eight minutes to cook. So, you want to go and let that cook in a good bit while your sausage is cooking again as well. Check back with me in about maybe seven to eight minutes. All right, now that your chicken is, is fairly cooked enough. We want to remove it from the pan into another bowl, set it off to the side. Then we want to start cooking our veggies. Again, because your meat's going to continue to cook in the broth anyway, so you just want to cook it just enough so it'll be ready. And what you want to do, you want to leave a little bit of that cooking in there, add maybe a little bit more olive oil to it. You want to start adding your vegetables. Bell peppers and your celery and your onion. Some like these red onion, but I just like I got the sweet onion and the celery. Down. 
after about two minutes, I forgot to add this in there. You want to add your so they saw you want to add a tablespoon of minced garlic. That's about right. You want to let that cook in about two minutes. Give it some flavor. No salt and pepper needed. Just let that cook in with the vegetables. Now you want to add back in your meat. Get that all incorporated in there. Next up is the tomato paste. Again, keeping this all on a low to medium heat. Take your can of six ounce tomato paste. Get it all out of there. Give that a nice stir and come right behind it with your diced tomatoes. Already flavored with basil and garlic and oregano. That's what you want to get. Get that around in there. It's coming along really, really nice, folks. The measurements and how much I use is going to be in the description below. Again, cook as much as you need. Depending on who you feed. Let go for a minute. I forgot after incorporating the meat in the diced potatoes, add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, about maybe a teaspoon, give it, you know, that extra added flavor. After you add your Worcestershire sauce, give it, you know, another stir, get the flavor all incorporated together. Add four and a half cups of chicken broth. That's two.
four. is going to soak up some of that broth. Now, you want to incorporate your rice. Again, I'm adding about maybe two to two and a half cups of rice. Give it a good stir. Incorporate the rice into your broth. And you want to, you know, you don't, again, you don't want to cook, use cooked rice. Your rice is going to cook in your stew for about 25 to 30 minutes. It's coming along really, really nice again, folks. I, again, I wish you could smell this pot here, giving off a real, real good aroma. And what you want to do after you stirring your rice you want to cover it reduce your heat to about maybe a medium low again let it simmer for 20 to 25 minutes maybe 30 you want to bring that to a nice slow boil reduce the heat and cover for about 30 to 35 minutes consistency you see your chicken you see your sausage the rice cooked up nicely oh it smells good you know what's next the taste test oh that looks so good it smells so good here we go folks some of that chicken, get some of that sausage. Oh, super simple. Took maybe about an hour to cook. Again, the ingredients and everything I use will be in the description below. Oh, so good. Mm. Mm. All right, folks, there you have it. Thank you for watching another video of Cooking with GKL. Like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. I'll see you on the next video. Oh, oh, oh.